What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Dark Gathering, this time with episode 11. Really excited for today, uh, we set out the premise for what we're going to be covering for the rest of the season, I uh, imagine, uh, going around Tokyo, um, no, Japan, not just Tokyo, uh, going around Japan and uh, gathering spirits, uh, again, hence the name Dark Gathering, but um, really looking forward to this. We're already on our way to one right now with Yayoi and Keitaro, so can't wait to see today's episode, but um, this premise sounded really awesome for what they mentioned last episode this kind of battle with the gods trying to capture it uh, these um what they're called graduates that yeah yeah we mentioned that we saw little glimpses of sound really awesome as well uh seems seems like they're going to be linked to each of the characters also so can't wait to see those uh do let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions get right into the episode i think ever since eyes joined it's not like it was growing boring or anything but ever since eyes joined it seems like the premise has kind of picked up again a little bit doesn't it i think it started off really strong mulled down a little bit and then it's kind of come back up with the introduction of eye and this new premise well it's not really a new premise but um it's really large premise Yeah, this was a cute little moment at the end of last episode, wasn't it? It was weak, but it was it was strong as well in a sense. So I think the troubled student is the least you could say about Yayo. Badass motherfucker, is what I'd say. And yeah, we know they're on their way to one of the locations. I'm pretty de I'm, I'm all right with my endurance. I'm not the best, but I've always played football and ran and such. But there's no way I'll be able to bike for this long. I'm, I'm, I I'm I just kind of suck at biking. I'm all right at actually the act of biking, but I can't ever do long distances or anything. It just gets does my knees a bit too hard. Yeah, no way I'd be uh, doing this. Okay, let's have a little glimpse at what the uh, the future has in store for us, man. Here there you go. So, what? Funny enough, I've just realised that image there almost looks a little bit like the thing that took Yayoi's mum. It doesn't really, because it, it is like a, a creepy cherry blossom tree. <laughs> but it look shape wise, it almost looks a bit like the bigness of like the tentacle thing, and then kind of goes down. I don't know. Maybe I'm caught to the straws with that one. Nah, not really. <laughs> not really. Not at all, really. <laughs> Definitely clutching the straws for that one. Well. 
I don't really get it because I know there is something there with this cherry blossom tree and this blood red moon because I saw the exact same thing in Gintama uh, during. I don't think. I, was it the Shinigami arc? No, I think it might have been the Curtis Animation arc. Yeah, it had a pretty similar kind of scene, scenery with the cherry blossoms and the a blood red moon. <clears throat> but I just don't know the. Um, already got one of those but um yeah there's something there's, there's obviously something quite poetic in there about that but again i just don't know um, i don't know you guys do please let me know Oh, I'm not sure this is going to be like everything else. I like the confidence though. I like the confidence. That's interesting. <clears throat> it's not actually too evil. That would be pretty cool. I saw Ruin. Interesting. Oh, we did see this woman in the preview, I think. What a lovely, lovely face. <laughs> oh, that's an actual old woman as well, not a ghost. Okay. Um, she's going to eat a lot of insects <laughs> with her mouth wide open like that at night like this. Going to catch a lot of flies. Mosquitoes. Close encounters of a third guy. I wish there's a movie about some name something similar. <laughs> Here's the old woman. <clears throat> uh. 
Now there. Wow. That's just awful. Kill themselves. Fair enough. Ugh. You just know this place is haunted as fuck. <laughs> what a horrible backstory. I mean, if we didn't already know this place was haunted as fuck after hearing that. Yeah, it does almost seem a bit harsh that we're actually kind of, you could say we're attacking this place as well in a way. But it's for a good reason. These people are already dead. These spirits. But still, it feels slightly wrong, doesn't it? I think that was on the list of things, wasn't it? Why is your mouth still open? What was that? She possessed? Oh, what the fuck? What's going on here? <laughs> Excuse me? Looks like those rules are actually pretty accurate in what the stages were. It comes to footsteps again. Yeah. Um I think obviously that a woman isn't isn't human. But I wonder if it is the spirit of the old woman. Or if it's a maybe it I don't know. I always feel like the spirits here are actually pretty nice in the way that they're probably trying to scare people off rather than kill them. <laughs> but like what we're seeing through from a lot of spirits. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, he's caught into that because I, I did think that was a bit weird. I don't mind it that weird, him wanting to hold her hand throughout this, but he is acting different from the usual right there, isn't he? Way too calm. Just not much the tracking device, yeah, just normal, yeah, normal behavior right there. Fucking up. 
I wonder where my guy is right now. Let's GPS track him. Unhealthy obsession right there. Exactly. A fucking mouth again. <laughs> the gaping mouth. She feels gross, I think she actually said there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Let's put it to good use, that giant old mouth. Random spirit in the background there. No. There's a, oh, there's a lot of them. Again, I almost feel like these are good spirits. Trying to warn us. Creep us out. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. That one there didn't look very nice. Oh, God. Well, maybe I was right. I feel like my instincts with horror stuff are usually pretty good. Uh, don't ever want to forget what they were forced to do, really. Wow. A flying fish. But fucked up. Oh, we're just here. Oh, shit. How many dead bodies are in this place then? A lot. At the bottom of this water. Jesus. These guys want revenge right here. Oh shit. It doesn't look like it's bleeding anymore. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god and where are you running boy <laughs> where are you running in the complete darkness oh he's, he's running the right direction or is this the old woman
so much tripping going on right here. I feel so lost <laughs> with where we are. Exactly what situation we're in right now. Oh god, they're all combining. Is it, I guess this is the great presence that people have felt. It was all kind of one thing these guys had experienced, so. It makes a lot of sense that they could kind of come together on it. There's our body. I feel like that might already be the case. <laughs> I feel like we're already trapped. Oh, she's definitely not dead. Jesus Christ. That's fucking massive. Nope, she is still alive. Little, little twitch right there. Hey, you can never, you can't kill Yayoi Chan. <laughs> She's the absolute star of this show, and as I've mentioned plenty of times, my, maybe my favourite character introduced this season. You can't kill her. Honestly, if they do kill her in this show, I might leave. <laughs> I don't think they ever will. Yeah, it's a nice episode today. Again, I don't feel too like too much of a sadistic kind of vibe from these spirits or anything. They definitely want revenge and payback and a curse in K2 right now. They're not good guys or anything, but Is that the is that the one we see right now then? Is that the girl we just saw? I feel like I feel like they look a lot like the kind of combined Spirits right there, and they go and last shot of the opening. Yeah, it was a trippy feeling today, wasn't it? I think they made a good job of making us feel like the audience, like we were lost as well. Like, where the fuck are we? Feeling isolated and just captured in confusion. Overpowered ally. Hey. Oh shit! Looks like things get off the off the rails a bit next episode. Um, but yeah, just want to take it back to that shot. Maybe that also maybe signifies that the ending slash opening might change in the next core of this show as well. Perhaps if this is the the girl, I think it is. This is such a nice ending for such a horrific show, isn't it? I feel like that's the case in a lot of shows, like Higarashi as well. It's got some of my favourite opening endings that feel so soft and sweet, even though I don't know the lyrics. We don't spend too much time on this shot, so maybe that might... We might keep this ending, but they might change this shot, perhaps, but... Long-ass hair. Really long-ass hair. Quite frizzy. Quite big eyebrows. Eyelashes, should I say. Quite small eyebrows, actually. That shot right there is fucked. <laughs> I want to see a shot of her like forming. Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of hair here as well. Yeah, I think it is her. Although the eyelashes really aren't massive. The eyebrows are quite small, so maybe so, maybe she's just looking a bit more fucked up here. 
But yeah, this shot, this shot right here is mad. <laughs> this shot right here is mad. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. A uh, really good episode today. Like I said, I love the love that we're entering this new kind of stage in the show um, where we're traveling around Japan. Obviously, this uh, this situation given us a pretty good indication of what's to come, uh, especially considering I think this is only S tier and there's like double S and triple S tier. So um, yeah, bodes well for the future, doesn't it? Especially as Yayo has already been captured and. Um, killed right now again i don't think i don't think you can kill yayo in this show i mean it would be a major shock and fair play if they did but again i'm not sure i'd continue the show <laughs> if that was the case um but yeah nice uh nice feeling of kind of isolation and being lost in today's episode wasn't there you really felt kind of alongside k and like what the hell is going on right now going through the stages nicely of what other people had experienced but again i don't feel an awful kind of negative energy to this these spirits that are doing this right now um they're almost kind of justified in a way in what they're doing obviously not to cater and not to normal people you, you wouldn't want that to happen but i think they're, they're fair in kind of wanting their revenge and wanting to etch this in uh into memories and such but um yeah, obviously not like the general public and innocent people uh, but they did go through something really awful so looking forward to exploring this a bit more um again i think it will be quite a bit more explored considering i do think that we do see this amalgamation of spirits the girl that kind of arose from that in the ending scene uh which tells me that we're probably going to get quite a bit more of that so i'm hoping that is the case looks like next episode things going to go off the rail a little bit like i said but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date i'll be back next week with episode 12 um, i'm not sure if there's a break in the cause of this show but i'm thinking there's not other minutes i haven't heard in the news so um, i'll see you guys next week for episode 12 and then hopefully it will just kind of continue the week after with episode 13 so yeah thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day guys